Hello there, you pumpkins! So I am here today to do a little bit of a review on the MAC Face and Body Foundation and this is kind of like a requested review. So I bought the MAC Face and Body Foundation only because of Pixie Woo and the Persian Babe. But the Persian Babe broke out from it so I'm guessing I got it because of Pixie Woo. So basically Samantha and Nicola Chapman were talking about the MAC Face and Body and how it is very good for photography and um, the coverage it gives you is not as much as what is desired by a lot of people but um, it photographs really nicely according to them. So I decided to get it um, because I wanted to try it out and maybe use it for my sister's wedding. The wedding took place in June. And it's safe to say that yes, I indeed used the MAC Face and Body Foundation during the wedding in the day at church as well as the wedding reception at night. So um, yeah, I really really like the foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. It just comes in the classic um, MAC black box and it's slightly longer than the usual one and it just says uh, MAC Face and Body Foundation. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's just a plastic bottle but it's not see-through. It's kind of opaque so it's quite hard to gauge where a product is. And it comes with 120ml or 4 fluid ounces worth of product in the packaging. So the colour selection is different from how um, the other MAC foundation colours are indicated. Um, for example, like NC45, NW25, it's not indicated like that. It's basically like C1 all the way to N9 if I'm not wrong. And usually for MAC, I'm between an NC43 to an NC45 and I got the colour um, C6 for the face and body foundation. The face and body foundation retails for $58 in Singapore and you can only get it at the Neon City MAC outlet. Um, it's only available there, you can't purchase it anywhere else in Singapore and I, I really don't know why. So the first thing I realised when I was at the MAC outlet about the foundations is the fact that the colour of the product is not the colour that you see on the packaging. That is only because the packaging is a little bit opaque and you don't get to see the true colour of the product. You do have to um, swatch it or test it on your jaw or something to get the right colour. So I did test out C6 and C7 when I was at the MAC outlet. Um, and according to the makeup artist, this foundation does oxidise a little bit. So she said that C6 would oxidise to my shade and C7 will oxidise to a shade darker so she um, requested or suggested that I take C6 as opposed to C7 which is what I did. So I bought C6 and it was $58 at the MAC outlet. So I agree to all the bajillion reviews on the face and body foundation that you do have to have relatively good skin to wear the foundation because it is really really sheer. The consistency of the foundation is very very liquidy. It's like literally liquidy in a sense that when I put it on the back of my hand and I tilt my hand this way it will literally just drip down as opposed to the other foundations that don't move because they are more creamy. So this one's consistency is very watery and um, it is really sheer and the application of it is very blendable because it is so um, watery. So it's very unlikely that you'll get streak marks on your face while trying to blend it because it is so blendable and it kind of looks like your skin but better. With this foundation is very hard for you to look cakey so that is actually a very good thing. I'm going to shake the bottle and let you guys hear how watery it is. you use the foundation you are supposed to really shake it and mix up the formula because it has the tendency to divide. The next thing that I noticed about the foundation is its smell. It is not the best smelling foundation in the world and probably the worst smelling foundation in the world. It doesn't smell appealing at all. It smells very chemically and plasticky. Some kind of weird toxicated smell. But what I notice is as I apply it, I don't really smell it anymore. So once I get past the smell of the foundation while applying, I then notice the fact that the foundation applies really, really oily-ish. As in, as you're applying it, you get a sheen everywhere. Like you just look like you had an oil bath. And your whole face is shiny. And I was like, oh goodness, I look like a fried egg. But then the trick to it is to let it sit for a while. And as the foundation is sitting, it kind of changes from oily freak of nature to dewy nice skin. And the fact that the foundation is so sheer, it actually allows for you to build layers of foundation to get your desired coverage. And you only can do that I realized from my experience is to let the first layer dry first and then apply the second layer because at the beginning when I was trying it out I was just going like layer 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 another layer 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 literally I looked like you could take petrol off my face because I was an oily fried ball then I figured oh uh, maybe I'm supposed to let the shit dry on my face and true enough that was exactly what you're supposed to do so I let the first layer dry and the second layer I kind of only apply it to where I need more coverage which is usually the side of my face, um, around my mouth, 
the side of my nose and a bit under my eye. Which seems to be like the whole face. The longevity of the product is actually really, really good. I had it on um, the whole morning from about 7am in the morning all the way to about 2 in the afternoon uh, for my sister's church wedding and I was sweating buckets all day and I was also crying like a maniac and I was the maid of honour. Oh my god, what an honour. And my sister really treated me like a maid that day. I was really carrying everything and running around like a mad person. The moral of the story is I was perspiring. And the pictures turned out amazing! I don't know if this is going to show on camera, but I have used that much of the product. It stops right here. And I've used it quite a lot, actually. I've been using it since um, June when I bought it, but I haven't been using it every day. I use it at least once or twice a week. And um, that's all I have used. So this product is going to last you quite some time. And for the money you pay for the amount of product you get, I think that it's really, really worth it. But again, your skin has to be rather clear. Um, It's not going to work as a full coverage foundation. My skin is not perfect. I have a lot of dark spots, but they are not acne, like protruding and red and stuff. So um, it is quite coverable, if that's even a word in the English dictionary. So my take on it is that it's a really good foundation. If, if you guys have relatively okay skin, you could go ahead and try it. And just be sure to match your colour up right. And um, get a shade lighter, I presume, because it oxidises really quickly. And um, yeah. So far, some people have broken out with it and some people haven't. I haven't. So I suggest um, probably asking for a sample before buying the full size just to see if your skin can adapt to the foundation. And again, it's only available at the Neon City Outlet. They do not have it in stock all the time, so I suggest you guys call them up first see if they have it and then go down or if not you can get them to reserve you a bottle which was what i did because they didn't have my shade of um, foundation available at the time when i wanted to go down so so yes my darlings that is basically my two cents on the mac face and body foundation so yeah here is a little demo for you guys just to see um how the foundation glides on and also um the kind of coverage it gives you which is really not much so uh yeah stay tuned for that and yeah all the single ladies, 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 watch hands up, 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 up in the club, I just broke up, doing my own little thing, side of the dip, I know you want a trip, cause I know you gotta notice me, I'm up on him, he's up on me, don't pay him any attention, Like it, then you should put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. Don't be mad when you see that he wants it. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. Don't be mad when you see that he wants it. If you like it, then you should put a 
This foundation is quite interesting and I'm glad I tried it. Uh, whether I repurchase it or not depends on my skin and how long this product is going to last me. And uh, yeah, so... So thank you guys for watching again so very, 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 very much. I love you guys, every single one of you. And if I could, I'd hug you all like that.